Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am back with another For the Love of Paper Pads series, and this um, paper pad, this is the Craft Market, and I only had four pieces left in there, so I decided I was going to pull them out and use them somehow, otherwise they're going to go in my scrap bin and I'll make cards with them or something. So then I decided to pull out my newest paper pad, which was the 6x6 Good Vibes. And I do have the chipboard sheet for that as well. Um, I don't have anything else, um, but I'm going to do a one photo layout today with these. And I'm going to do a little mixed media on the background. This is a Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Frozen Lake. And this particular piece of paper came out of the Maggie Holmes Gather paper pad. So, I haven't really pulled out any other embellishments. I might kind of just go through my scraps. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, so, let's get started. Okay, so I am just going to start with some packaging technique. And... This is just a little, I guess it's packaging. It's actually like a little Ziploc bag. Not exactly sure where it came from. And for some reason, I was being very messy. And, and so I had to roll up my sleeves so that I didn't get it on my sweater. The picture that I am going to be scrapbooking is a picture from Disneyland. And there's this little hidden spot where you can go and see the... um. Like it's just a great picture spot and you have Splash Mountain behind you. Unfortunately, Splash Mountain was actually closed that time that we were there. So we took the picture anyway. So here I am. I know that I want to do like a vertical section and then horizontal section. But because I'm using the 6 by 6 pad, I don't have anything that will cover that full 12 by 12 spot. So here I am trying to figure out, okay, how do I basically piece these pieces together to make it look like they are from the 12 inch paper. So how I do that is the cactus one, I'm going to turn into a banner and where the two pieces meet will be under the photo. And that'll take care of the horizontal element. And I liked the cactus because if any of you have gone on that particular Splash Mountain ride, you know it's like briar scenery. And so I thought that was kind of fun. So for my vertical element, I'm not actually going to be able to cover up the entire seams with my photo, but I do want to make sure they're straight and I do try and line up the pattern. Do you see right there how I kind of just kind of made the pattern go together? So it looks a little more seamless um, with the naked eye. And that's the idea behind that. As far as the houses are concerned, they're a little bit more of a mismatch, so it's not a huge deal that they're not completely together. So I am going to cut down my photo because I do want to back it completely with some pattern paper. And here I am pulling in some of that craft market paper that I have those four pieces left. I'm going to, uh, two of these are... Uh, they have the months on them. One has an actual calendar. One just has the months. And I'm going to cut the January out of both of them because we were there in January. And then I'm just going to use the rest as some paper layers. And then I can mat it with this piece from Good Vibes which I like as well. And then bring in some of that wood grain. So 
So I've got the wood grain, I have the cactus, kind of, kind of earthy, I guess you could say. So it felt really good to use up the rest of this six by six paper pad. I don't know about you, but using items is almost bittersweet because you use them because you love them. And then you're a little sad when they're gone. <laughs> so, but then you don't feel quite as guilty when you buy more. So <laughs> that's how I feel here. So I do use up quite a bit of those four little pieces. So I'm not using too, too much of that item. So I did pull out these DIY shop frames and wood pieces. It's actual like, they're actual pieces of like very, very thin wood. Almost like, I don't know, whatever they do to put over the cheapy cabinets. I forget what that's called, but kind of like that. So then instead of going through all of my ephemera packs and all that stuff. I have this like little container on my desk that has different items in color coordination. So it's kind of, it's kind of basically my scraps. So I went through them and I only went through the blue green and the pink because that kind of seemed to be the color scheme. So I did grab the cactuses from the chipboard Good Vibes because I'm not so sure when I would use cactuses again, which is kind of funny because I live in Arizona, but we live in northern Arizona, like in the woods, like, so there's not a lot of cactuses up here, so I don't have a lot of cactus photos, but um, I did do a little bit of hidden journaling there. So that goes behind there. I'm gonna add these puffy stickers just because they're cute and they go with the Splash Mountain ride. That vellum piece is from the Pink Paisley Cut Apart. I'm just gonna trim that off and that's it, you guys. So I hope you're enjoying the series. I am just loving using up all this stuff. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.